Hey everyone, Christine Altos coming to you again and today is Monday, September 24th. Happy Monday everybody. Hope you had a fantastic weekend. Today I'm going to catch up on three days. I had made a video yesterday for the 22nd and the 23rd but it didn't work out quite the way I was hoping. I used a different uh, form of video and it just did not upload the way I was thinking. So I thought I would wait today. I, I took it as a great sign as you've already said you're not going to do anything on Sunday. And here I went and did a video, didn't work out, didn't work out. So for me that was a sign you shouldn't be doing this. So today I'm going to talk to you about the 22nd, the 23rd, and the 24th. So I wanted to give you a little bit of an analogy and I look at myself as a candle lit. I am a candle burning and my light is very bright. If I were to take my candle and light your candle, take my, my, my light and touch your wick, am I going to lose any light? Absolutely not. I'm just going to share my light with you and I'm going to ignite your candle, ignite your burning desire inside to learn and to become a leader. And that is why we are doing this. This is why we're doing this together, right? And this is why I'm doing this as well, is because I want to become the leader inside me that I follow, right? So just because I'm sharing this information with you, sharing my experiences with you, giving you advice, does not mean that my light is going to dim. It's actually going to shine brighter because as my light shines and your light shines, there's going to be an abundance of glowing all throughout the world. So we don't want to have a mindset that allows us to think that just because we're sharing information with each other, our light is going to dim. Actually, it's going to keep, you know, shining so bright that it's going to be seen across the globe. So we want to have a mindset of abundance and that's what that is, is having a mindset that the more you give, the more you receive. Okay, so if you're able to give more than what you have, you're going to receive two times back. I think we all have heard this before, the more you give, the more you receive. But we tend to be afraid to do that because we don't know. What if I happen to give this, you know, extra money I have to, to so and so? What am I going to do? You know what? We can't think that way. We have to think, you know what? I'm going to help this person. And by doing that, you will receive such, such greatness back into your life. And that's what John Maxwell speaks about on the 22nd, is having a mindset of abundance and not scarcity. Do not be afraid to give because you will be given back. Absolutely. And I have actually witnessed that in my own life. Just by giving, I have received so much. And my life has been enriched so much. I'm so much happier now because of having a mindset of abundance. And it truly has changed my life. Now on the 23rd, John speaks about, you know, really looking into someone's heart. Really digging deep and having and a very aggressive listening skill. When we speak to others, do we actually listen to what it is they're talking about, like deep down? Or we just listen to what it is they're talking about? I know myself, I do this with my family, is I tend to maybe not listen as, an, as intentively as I should be because it just seems to be common for me. Just They just kind of ramble on. That's what the, you think they're doing, right? But really there's something deeper in there. We need to learn to have a more aggressive listening skill so that we may find out deep down in their heart what it is they're really talking about so that we may help them out. I know this is an area in which I'm going to have to improve in myself. So I tend to put on my aggressive listening ears <laughs> for all those around me so that I may find out deep down in their heart what it truly is they're trying to say to me. So that I may find out what I can do to help them. And then today, of course, is talking about adversity again. And funny enough, <laughs> it talks about letting adversity motivate you. And with my video not working yesterday, I took that as a sign like, wow. <laughs> Here's adversity at its best, trying to, you know, frustrate me, but here I'm motivated to do all three videos <laughs> for you instead of just one. So today, you know, we want to take adversity and just tackle it head on. Let it motivate you. Let it teach you something. Let it turn you into the person that you're supposed to be. Don't look at it as, don't look at it as, you know, defeat or failure because you know what? The more you fail, the more you succeed. And that's all adversity is. 
Adversity is meant to challenge you, okay? Because life's not supposed to be easy. If we were born, um, actually, for things to happen easily, we wouldn't be in the world that we are right now. It really is meant for us to be challenged and to conquer it. If we didn't have challenges, life would be way too easy. It, you wouldn't develop into the person that you're meant to be if we didn't have adversity. So take adversity today and conquer it. See what it is trying to teach you and apply it to your life and become the leader that you're looking for. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed today's video and I plan on talking to you again tomorrow. It's been a busy, busy time around here. Actually, my kids just started their homeschooling year. Our books came in, so that's why I've been busy too, trying to get all that together. So I, I appreciate your patience and we'll talk to you again real soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.